Alston is getting ready to host the Rat City Arts Festival. This year, they're calling for local artists to help turn rat traps into works of art. WBZ's Mike Sullivan explains. You can paint the picture however you like, but when it comes to the Alston Brighton area, there's beauty within the ugly. This is where the musicians live and the artists, and part of the reason we can live here is because it's kind of dirty. By dirty, we mean rats, lots of them. New York rats, you know, they're big, they're feisty, but ours are sneaky, conniving. This is where you will find Mary Irvin, behind her easel, brush in hand, living in Rat City. They get a bad rap, you know. The bubonic plague didn't help. Rat traps are now as prevalent as a Duncan's storefront. Irvin is one of a few artists hoping to cover them up, turn them into art. I want to uh, make a frog pond rat house. This idea comes from Ricky Mikey, the founder of the Rat City Art Festival, an event inspired to help artists and relieve rat problems at the same time. My first apartment, I had a rat die within our walls. My wife's, one of her apartments here in the neighborhood had a rat die in her oven. He came up with the idea after seeing art on utility boxes. Now the festival will be paying 10 artists to decorate rat traps to be displayed in town. Their traps won't have poison inside, but they hope the city may implement art onto their traps. Maybe when the, the rat czar is present uh, in the city of Austin, uh, this could be an idea that we pitch to them and collaborate more with the city on. The festival will give artists a venue to sell their work, but it will also seek out creative solutions to alleviate their pesky problem. The days leading up to the festival, we're actually going to be hosting a rat walk here in Alston Brighton to go visit the rat hotspots. Because I think it's a way to celebrate the rats, to keep this part of Boston a little quirky and weird. In Alston, I'm Mike Sullivan, WBZ News. Okay, so I like the idea that they're trying to make something that's annoying and kind of gross mm -hmm. pretty, but also like, let's not make the rats comfortable. Let's not decorate <laughs> the things that are supposed to scare them. You don't want to be rolling out the red carpet for the rats. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, I'm all for keeping things a little weird, like keep Austin weird, but things that give you the plague, a little too weird. Little too weird. Yeah.